Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to share some projects that I've been working on. I've been playing around with some dyes, so I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys um, what I ended up creating. I did recently haul this cute little basket die. I got this die from AliExpress and it's a little shaker and I think it turned out super cute. It comes with the little bow. I added that little um, white flower there. Comes with a little grass. You can either put the grass on the bottom or the grass on top. I decided to put it on the top and still use this cute little border die as well. Just so um, I can add the little eggs. And I just glue the eggs from the back. And I just think it turned out so cute. It's just a cute little die. And, you know, I haven't added any sentiment um, sticker or anything to it because I'm not sure how I'm going to use it but I wanted to go ahead and put it together that is my goal I've been practicing with all the dies that I have not touched in my stash and getting getting rid of the ones that I don't use and uh, playing with the ones that I do plan on keeping so another one that I hauled from Allie was this one here it's just a plain little um bunny shaker die so cute and I just um use the lining with white cardstock or glittered cardstock and then this like pink plaid um one here and i only made one of each and usually i like to make doubles but since i was on a roll that day i kind of wanted to knock all the dies out um let's see here's another one that i had in my stash not sure where it came from um but they look like that and i just cut them out white um and then I just used one of my um, markers and did like the little nose there and the ears. So those are just ready to pop onto anything. And then let's see here. I ended up putting this together. Now this one you can actually make if you wanted to into like a, a like an actual basket basket. But I did make like a little pocket here. And then I just embellished the front. It does have like a laser cut image of a flower, but I covered that up and because um, I just wanted to embellish it a little farther and it's perfect for Happy Mail. And then I added this little bow here. This also came with this whole set, it came with the grass and then the eggs. So it's kind of um, pretty identical to this one, except it doesn't come with this banner piece here, but it comes with the bow and um, maybe you could tear this part here um, is the other part that comes with it so this comes with this piece as well again it just has like a lasered cut image in the front but I just covered it up and then um, out of the grass there with the eggs so I think this turned out super cute and you can just fill it up with um, you know anything here's some word shadow word pieces that I had cut out in my stash that I also got from um, Ally. This one says egg hunt. So I just cut it out in various um, colors and glittered cardstock. This one says happy or hoppy. And this one says bunny. But you can put whatever um, would fit in this pocket. So I thought that was cute, especially for flat mail. We're always looking for flat mail ideas. And then here's another die that I had in my stash, I believe from last year. And I think this one came from Shein. So it just says Easter. And then I added a little pom-pom to the little um, tail there. And this one is cut out in glittered cardstock with pink foam. And I made some shaker frames. I had these frames in my stash. They are from actually CVS. Um, they used to have like a dollar section. I'm not even sure if they have that anymore because I don't go there any <laughs> anymore. But um, I picked up a bunch of different um, glittered frames. And so I used the um, Alpha Sequence mix that I got from Happy Crafter Shop. And then I also used some yellow diamond dots for um, my shaker. And then I just embellished it with... Um, my chipboard stickers that I had in my stash and I think it just turned out so cute. I used um, a ruffle um, banner here that I did and I think, just think it turned out so cute. And then here's my other one. This one says bloom and grow. And this one I used Happy Crafter Shop little um, mini umbrellas 
her little mix her little mix there so um, I do have a coupon code for her shop so if you guys are interested I'll leave that information down below as well so I did those and oh here's another one I don't know oh I used the negative of um, that bunny here and I just made so here's the foam here and I just added that little bow there I just made the little ears with my marker and then um, black I used my black um, pen for the eyes and then again for the little nose I used my marker you never let anything go to waste and then here is the dye also that I got from I think this one was from either Timu or Aliexpress I forgot where I held it from and um, I was calling it a bag topper but it's just like a little um, a little basket or a little box and it's so cute super easy to put together it's very tiny so I just made um, to make it look like a little candy um, I've seen quite a few people do this and I just used wooden beads and just an example that you can put in here and it's just a cute little way to send a little um, gift to your swap partner so I think it turned out so cute and it also comes with that little bow too and then I added a little pearl to the center of that and then last but not least I made this big old basket oh my gosh this was a little bit difficult for me if you know me I'm not a huge fan of doing 3d projects I am a super quick and fast type crafter I do not like to spend a lot of time on one project um, this it wasn't hard to do I think the hardest part was to um, get the edges to stick to the egg so and I followed um, strawberry cream uh, tutorial because she um, bought the same dye and then she actually shares how she put hers together so um, I did you have the option of making this not a shaker but I decided to do the shaker route of course and this is the paper pad from uh, Michaels the same one it's, it's like an Easter spring one that they had last year or two years ago and then I use um, for the side I use this like um, ombre colored bow that I got from Shein. I got quite a few of these in a pack and then but it's a great size to put goodies in and I still want to embellish um, one of the sides here so I still haven't done that but I wanted to come on and share with you guys what it turned out and I think it it's super cute but yeah it did take me a while to <laughs> put this together and you can still see like it's not even like a hundred percent like perfect but it was my first time doing something like this and um but i really liked how the end result came came out with especially after spending so much time on it and then everything's pretty sturdy too so i really like it it's so cute i can't wait to fill this up and uh with goodies as well and that is all that i've been playing with and working on when i have time it's I have some slower days and I have some busier days so I wanted to come on and share with you guys all my projects that I've been working on for Easter hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you have any questions leave them down below and I will see you guys in my next one and I will also leave happy crafter shop in my description box so you guys can go um, check her out if you're interested in any of the mixes that I shared all right guys take care bye